Hmm. What is Saha Shagarka? Sahaja. Saha means with, Ja means born. Born with you is Sahaja. Yoga means union with the Divine. That is spontaneous union with the Divine. And is it for all ages? Yes, for all ages, for everyone. It's an evolutionary uh, process which ends up with your uh, ultimate goal, and that is to become the Spirit. And so it is meant for everyone. And how does it differ from other forms of yoga? Other forms of yogas are leading to this one, so that you are purified to receive uh, this spontaneous yoga. But there is no need to do any more of these. You can get your Realization without doing anything uh, in any one of them. What is Self-Realization? Self-Realization is that so far the Spirit, which is in your heart, which is witnessing you, your activities, but does not come into play, into your action, nor into your intelligence, nor into your attention. But once you get Self-realized, then the Spirit, the light of the Spirit shines, and that's how your whole attitude towards life changes. You become a transformed personality. Are you the only person that can give Self-realization? No, there are many Sahaja Yogis who can give Self-realization to many people. Sri Mataji, it's written in the publicity that I read that you can actually give Self-realization en masse. Yes. Why is this possible? The time has come for giving en masse realization, I think. I'm making the best of it. And in what ways does one's life change <coughs> once one has Self-realization? A Sahaja Yogi is a person whose uh, guideline is his spirit. Thus he is standing at a point which is absolute. He is not relatively uh, uh, looking after his life. He is on an absolute point, means whatever he does is the absolute truth. He doesn't take to anything that is untruth, which is false, which is superficial. So that's how he is absolutely tranquil and peaceful and dynamic, and he has all the qualities of a very good gentleman, like he's righteous, uh, he's uh, very pure, and also uh, he's very virtuous. We need people of that kind today to make a new world. Do you think the world is in a very precarious situation? It is, very much. You can see all around. It is in a very precarious way placed, and this is the time when one starts thinking of getting to something better or to get out of it, and that's the time when it works out the best. And in what other countries is there Sahaja Yoga? It's a big list. There are about 14, 15 countries all together involved in Sahaja Yoga, and to name them we can say UK, France, uh, Spain, uh, Austria. Australia, of course, is first. Then we have on the other side uh, is Switzerland, Germany, uh, what else? America. <laughs> About 15 countries altogether. Algeria. Why are you called the mother? Mother. Mother. Uh, <clears throat> because I give them the second birth. Well, that's a very simple answer. <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> the one who gives you the birth is the mother, isn't it? And that's how they call me the mother. But also, the mother's qualities are needed today. The patience, the love, the compassion, the understanding, and also commanding the uh, confidence of all the children is only in a mother. That's why it's better to be a mother. And how difficult do you think it is to live a life um, once you be to live the life that's meant to be once you become involved with Sahaja Yoga? It's the easiest life to lead because uh, you 
then come across people who are very good, they are of the same type, a good rapport is there, very great friendship, a big fraternity, and also you find life much more interesting that you do not think about them, but you enjoy everything. So the life is much easier after Realization. You become very dynamic, all your problems get solved, your health improves. So in every way it is such a great blessing. I don't have any more questions, but is there anything else that you'd like to add? Yes. That now, that at the, we are standing at a point when we, our evolution has reached us to the human awareness. And that is not absolute. We have to jump to a higher awareness, and that is the Spirit. And that one has to be achieved by everyone, otherwise there is no solution for all kinds of problems people are facing today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It has come all right? I hope so. I'll just rewind a little bit. Okay, Mrs. Shimabaji, would you like a cup of tea or coffee? I have, but you let can. her have some tea. Would you like a cup of tea <laughs> yes. or coffee? I'll have some tea. Okay. Thank you. Our evolution has reached us to the human awareness, and that is not absolute. We have to jump to a higher awareness, and that is the Spirit. And that one has to be achieved by everyone, otherwise there is no solution for all kinds of problems people are facing today. There's one more thing I would like This is a living process, living process of evolution for which you cannot pay. This is one thing people should understand, that you cannot pay for anything that is spiritual. Anybody who collects the money in the name of God is doing a wrong thing. So one has to be careful that you cannot pay for your evolution. It should be understood logically and then you must act, that don't trust people who ask money for anything that is spiritual. Very good questions. Thank you. Straightforward. Yes. Please ask me. <laughs> There's no more to add. Thank you. I didn't give all the names of all the countries. I don't know which I missed. Belgium and Holland. India. Belgium and Holland. I and India. Of all the things. I can put that in the introduction. Uh, uh, I can say. Yeah. No, thank you. I can say that. There are so many countries. Yes, that you can say. You see, after all, the singing there is all right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he doesn't eat sweet much. What were you doing? You were sleeping? Yes, you were sleeping. In the cold. In the cold. In the cold. Not good. Okay. What radio is this? It's Radio 2SCR FM. Ah, ah. And tonight what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll edit it and I'll put it onto Real to Real and ah. prepare it so that they can broadcast it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Between 10 and 12 because the public program is tomorrow night. No. And Friday night, so it had to go to air tomorrow morning. Yes, tomorrow is the program, isn't it? Yes. yes. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Yes. Before that, if it is, I think. But also, the you must give the uh, place. Yes, I'll, I'll do that. That that she will do. In the in the conclusion, I will yes. say. Yes. Uh, you can say this is the place where we are having it.
Uh, because otherwise they'll telephone to you one after. <laughs> yes, and ask where it is. Yeah, we do that. Yes, do. And anything that wasn't covered in that, I can actually cover in the introduction or the conclusion. No, it's all right. I think it's very straightforward. Mm. See, for common people, when they're listening to any radio, they don't want to hear a big uh, sort That's of uh, right. uh, philosophical mm. treatise. They are very happy with small little crisp answers which goes into their heads very easily. And then the, the curiosity is there, so they come to the program. That's much better. I just want to say, I want to convey that I wish safely. Yes, by now. No, but unless they are certain about it. Sydney, the people are much more receptive, aren't they? Even the lady, yes. Even there, the gentleman was all right, but so anxious to get his realization, and he was in a big hurry. You see, <laughs> see, his kundali. kundali was rising, but he couldn't feel it. It was to go back to his Vishuddhi, go back to his Nabi. I, I didn't know what to do with it. Poor fellow. There's been a big difference, Mother, since Sunday. I, I came back early and I've been talking to the press since Sunday and people who were not very interested yes. before are now interested. <laughs> the changes are starting already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the atmosphere changes, everything changes. I was trying to contact Aurangabad. Uh. Uh, the lady was trying to contact us. But I found my intonation different. Mm. He said, uh, are you an Australian? I said, no, I'm from India. He said, uh, come recently. I said, you're only this morning. Uh, where are you staying? I said, I'm staying in an ashram. He said, a yogi ashram. So, uh, what is this ashram? I said, my sister is Adaji, and she has founded this Sahaja The ashram people belong to Sahaja she said, is it Nirmala Devi Mataji? I said, yes, but how do you know? We have been reading in papers. Who <laughs> <laughs> The local uh, operator. operator. Telephone operator. Yes, sir. It's very stiff and it's working. Hmm. <laughs> I was very surprised. That was happening. Yes, yes, you know, there. So it's working. No, it's the media wants, you know. Actually, it's Amas. And uh, also, there was never a media like this, you see. If the media wants, they can help the whole world, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. true. Isn't it? They have to give the truth to the people. But if they do not want to do it, I mean, they are the ones who will be held responsible. The media is divided in two parts one who gives real, truthful accounts, the other, which it does not. Another thing is also that, you see, when uh, they become sort of doubtful about it, they say, first give us the realization, ah. and then we'll do it, which is very difficult. Sometimes you can't give them, so it's being selfish. But if I can't give the realization to someone, that doesn't mean that mm. there isn't something like that. But in Italy, when I went there, there was a fellow called Romano. He's a big fan of people and a uh, very interesting person. So he said, Mother, I must ask you one thing. I said, What? Please give me realization. I said, We have to, I have to broadcast. He said, First give me realization. It will be a good idea. So I gave him the realization. And he laughed and ah, oh, so the joke is over. The joke is over. I said, What about our program? He said, No, no, we'll have the program. <laughs> then we went to one uh, place, he said, these are all monkeys here, they can't understand Sahaja Yoga. <laughs> I said, why? He said, they won't understand any Sahaja Yoga, Mother, you just don't talk to them. I said, all right. But then he gave me such a big publicity in Milano, and then we went to a hill station. He gathered about six, seven hundred people there, gave me such a big publicity, Pantimani, the Romano fellow. Wonderful person.
it's very different this time of that. Last time, your last visit, the people on the press who were interested were sensational. They wanted something clever, oh. some big trick. This time, the same people are not interested. This time, they, the people who are showing interest are receptive to the message. Mm. And it's quite remarkable. It's happening down in Melbourne too. Mm. All the sensationalists are not interested. So hopefully we get a very good coverage. Mm. You see, the sensation business is also comes from materialism, I think. That many human beings are becoming matter. So they need some sensations in their body <laughs> to come up to something. Mm. There must be something new. <laughs> they can't see something very obvious and good for them. They need some sensation. Like this gentleman asked me, we have to go outside on the street. I said, street, you won't work out because, you see, this is a serious subject. How can I discuss with you on the street, you see? So he compromised on a garden. Went to the garden and all the clouds started <laughs> coming there. <laughs> then he said, all right, now that's over. Now we'll uh, start the uh, whole thing. And then it started raining. After that he really gave up. <laughs> It started raining just as we were give, trying to give him realization. <laughs> <laughs> Heavens were warning us. <laughs> you see, there are people who are thinking, who are worried, who want to do something great, but we have to approach them somehow with this. Approach is to be built up. Once that is built up, there is no problem. But that's the main thing is, the right type of people we should meet. Like first time I went to, Germ uh, to Italy, we had informed the uh, newspaper to advertise and I stayed in a hotel with a, one girl was with me. Nobody contacted us, nobody came in the hall, not even a single soul, <laughs> nothing worked out. So we went back, spending all that money. And now in Italy, you can imagine, at the Airport, if you go, the whole of the airport is nothing but surgery. It happens like that. Same with our Calcutta. First time I went to Calcutta, there was one person in the hall, one person. And this time, when I went there, the biggest hall they have was uh, given to us. And the crowds were so much, they were all saying, Ma, Ma, and nobody could come inside because the hall was all full. And thousands and thousands waiting outside. And now it has taken such a form that even the cinema actors went there to collect money for our school in Calcutta. I mean, you can't believe the same Calcutta where there was only one single soul sitting in the big hall. And I thought this fellow also will run away after five minutes. <laughs> It does change gradually, but one should not be shocked with the first uh, appearances. It's, it's all. Yes. For the interview, yes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Yes, except for the last bit. You know, my mother said, oh, there's just one more thing I want to say. Because we just listened, it meant that I had the listening levels up and the recording levels down. And then I remembered and turned it up. I don't believe it. We all missed that bit. Can I get it on to tape?
Yeah. We'll give you the whole lot. Oh, of course, and then I can just get to that. You can take the bit you want. It's digital. And I'll you'll find it's better than mine. Mm. Because, well, you listen to it. Okay. I hope you've made those. Yeah, no, I wasn't meant to be here. I've got to take one second. With the connection, you know, I was feeling my mouth, and then I turned around and I was sitting there. I couldn't bar to bar. It's understanding. Are you